Hello, today I'm going to show you how to flash a Sprint Samsung Instinct from Sprint to Cricket. First, you're going to need the phone and the USB cable. We can make sure that the phone is definitely on the Sprint network right now by calling star 2. Alright, that confirms that the phone is still on the Sprint network. We're going to change that to Cricket. Make sure you have the correct USB cable for the phone. Take the USB cable and plug it into the phone. A page like this will pop up and a box like this will pop up on your computer. First, close this box and then slide to disconnect here. The phone will go back to its regular state. Next, you're going to need to have the phone's drivers installed on your computer. You get the drivers, including all the software to flash the Samsung Instinct to Cricket, and the download link to the right for 8 bucks. Once you have plugged the phone into the computer, click on Start, then go to Settings, Control Panel, System, Hardware, and Open Device Manager. A box like this will appear. Under your ports list, make sure it says Samsung Mobile Modem Diagnostic Serial Port. And if it's not on court, COM Port 1, we're going to have to change that. To do that, click right-click on it, click on Properties. Where it says Port Settings, click on that. Click on Advanced, and right here where it says COM Port Number, change it to 1. If it says it's in use, it doesn't matter. Change it to 1, then click OK. Click OK over here too. Next, under Modems, you'll see Samsung Mobile Modem 2. It doesn't matter if this number is a 1 or 2 or no number at all. Just make sure it's there. Then right-click on it. Go to Properties, Advanced, Advanced Port Settings, and make sure it's on port number 2. If it's not, once again, change it to port number 2. And even if it says it's in use, doesn't matter. Change it to port 2 and click OK. Alright, now pull the Device Manager down. Here, you can just close these windows right here. And next, you'll need to open a program called UniCDMA Workshop. Open that up. A box like this will appear. Right here, it shows your SPC code. Change that to six zeros. Doesn't matter what it is, just change it to six zeros. And then click Write SPC. It'll say Monitor Enabled, Writing Security Code, SPC Write OK. The phone has lit up. You, as you can tell, the phone had a response. Now close this program. Next you're going to need to open a program called QPST. Once again, all these programs are supplied in the link to the right for 8 bucks. Open QPST wherever you saved it. You need to open QPST configuration. A box like this should appear. Make sure your phone is enabled. It should say enabled under stats under COM port 1 and then under phone it will have a bunch of letters and possibly some numbers. Then click start clients and click service programming. Box like this will appear. Just click OK over here. Then another box like this will appear. Click on roam and then click on Browse, and now select the Cricut eVideo PRL. You can download this once again with all the software. There will be a link for it. Click on the Cricut eVideo PRL, and then down here, click Write to Phone. It's going to ask you for that SPC code that we changed to six zeros. So make sure you enter six zeros in. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Then click OK. It'll write to the phone and the phone will start to reboot. Once the phone has rebooted, it'll show the charging symbol. It says, warning, no longer detected on COM port 1. That is OK. Click OK and close all these boxes. Next, you're going to need to unplug the phone. It'll say, charging cable disconnected. Take the phone and turn it back on. The phone will load up. It still shows the Sprint logo, but it's definitely on the Cricut network. To verify that this phone is on the Cricut network, when it loads up, we're going to go to the dialer, and we're going to dial in 611. This is a Cricut activation line. Then we're going to hit call. Welcome to Cricut. That said, welcome to Cricut. As you can tell, now the phone is on the Cricut network. Flashed for talk and text. Thank you. Once again, to download the service and all the programs, click on the link in the right for $8. Thank you.